first and foremost, one of the things that I admire the most is the sense of purpose, of direction, of commitment, of determination, and of nationalism and patriotism that I see here. From President Awaki, uh, since we had time yesterday, um, it's very clear that he knows exactly what this country needs. Um, and it's very clear that the people are quite determined to develop and have a sense of self-reliance and self-sufficiency in things. And so today um, we went to see the, uh, the big dam uh, here. And I was impressed. It's, a, it's, it's 30, 33 million uh, cubic meters of, of water that they have. And they have 10,000 hectares that they want to irrigate with that. They're doing already 1,000 hectares of that. It's a lot of area for livestock. They're doing dairy. We went to see a lot of dairy farms that they're having. Uh, they have also areas where they're cultivating uh, quite a lot of uh, fruits. Uh, they're also doing uh, quite a lot of coffee production and all of that. So when I got over here, I was impressed with the density of infrastructure. President Avaki Avaki took me to see the uh, an area where they were doing irrigation. And instead of doing the regular pivot irrigation, he has one that you can actually do from the top, which is quite, again, um, credit to the fact that they are innovating themselves. They are not just simply copying from others. And so I came away from this particular visit, very excited on the, on, on the farm visit, uh, with three things. First is that uh, the capacity of the Eritrean um, population and the research institutions to really do great engineering work is superb. Um, the Eritrean um, a mapping and information center uh, did a lot of the dams that I see over here in other countries. Most of those, the dams that are be contracted out to foreign contractors to do them, and they did them here. We went over there and we saw a lot of a giant um, uh, tanks in which they pump water to, to irrigate, and also to provide water to households. And I was surprised that a lot of it was actually done by students. You know, in other countries that will be done by big engineering firms. And so I think that from where I am today, I see three big things that we want to do with this perimeter that we came in today. First is to help the president to develop what we call special agro-industrial processing zones. And that will mean that we will be able to build on the infrastructure that has been done over here bring in um, support to develop food and agricultural businesses that can process food, that can process packaged food, that can package fruits, uh, that can do horticulture production, and why not even uh, a, a production of floriculture, flower production here for uh, regional markets and for export markets. I told the president that we'll also support them to develop the financial system that will support agro-industrialization uh, in, uh, in the country. And, and in addition to that, uh, we were also talking about how to support, uh, use Eritrean skills and capacity to help other countries, especially in engineering, because I was, I marvel at some of the things that I've seen here. And, and I was telling him that, you know, why we need to develop a way in which we can support Eritrean engineers to work with other countries and perhaps even have the idea of an Africa engineering core that you can take and you can deploy for major engineering works in different parts uh, uh, of Africa. Um, I told the president that there are many areas in which we will look forward to supporting him. And one area, of course, is in the area of the blue economy. You, know, you, got, you got the sea over here. The issue is how do we make sure that you benefit quite a lot of that in aquaculture. It's a big thing, but also making sure marine fisheries it's supported. We have had um, a project here in the past, which is on, on, on fish uh, marketing infrastructure project, and we're trying to see how we can revive and revamp that project um, that will you know, very quickly benefit the population. And the other area that uh, we are very big on is on energy. The um, uh, solar that we have, which is uh, 30 uh, megawatts, uh, for which we are investing the $56 million. It's the first of it, but we want to do more solar projects also in this country, so we'll continue to do that. We see opportunities also here to do even investment in, in wind power uh, uh, as well uh, in the country, which is, uh, which is very good. Um, all in all, I will say this about what I've seen in, 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 uh, in, in Eritrea. First, the, the president's passion is infectious. Um, it's, it's, it's vision, his commitment to his country, to his people. And, you know, when you're from the outside and you hear things about Eritrea, it's a different thing when you actually come here and you listen to him, you see him. I mean, he's been with me literally all day here on field trips, and we've gone everywhere. Uh, I admire his vision, his determination 
to, to really have an emancipation of its own people. And I think that's uh, very good. I also came away uh, from my uh, trip with a great admiration for the people here in terms of their uh, sense of trying to do things by themselves, which is always very good. You know, development, as far as I'm concerned, it's about pride. Nobody's going to do development for you. You have to do it with pride. You have to have it in yourself to do it. And, and, and I'm amazed with what they've been able to do here uh, uh, by themselves. So um, I did tell the president that he can, he can be sure that uh, the African Development Bank will give a lot more support to Eritrea uh, in many, in many areas, from agriculture to energy, uh, to blue economy, to developing the financial markets, to developing special agro-industrial processing zones, uh, above all, to also use your own experiences to, to support other countries. You know, so all in all, um, I came here uh, 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 inspired. Uh, I'm living uh, tremendously inspired by the president and by what I've seen. So um, you can be sure the African Development Bank. Uh, we will be here to partner, to, uh, to handhold, and to be a partner of choice to help to transform this country in your, in your, in your drive.